August. While it used to be one of my favorite months as a kid, it is now one of my most dreaded months, at least from a fly fishing perspective. To me, August is just too hot. Fishing tends to suck, at least here in the West. Not to mention the abundance of people, smoke, and of course, wildfires. My general rule in life is if you're not happy about something, you gotta make a change. So for at least the hot summer months, my attention shifted from popular western streams to high mountain reaches that provide countless opportunities at alpine lakes, some of them filled with trout. This is certainly a new area of explorations for me, but the only way I know of figuring it out is putting on a bag and hiking. I left my house early. I was on the road before 3 a.m. As I was driving the mountain roads, as soon as the first rays of sunlight broke over the horizon, my heart started beating a little faster with anticipation. Eventually, the pavement ended. The road became more and more narrow. Before long, I found myself at a trailhead and I started hiking. All right, everybody, welcome back. Whew, already heading uphill. We're just making our way to this Alpine Lake. It's a nice chilly morning out here. I got a little chill going on, but that's okay. It help me wake up and pretty soon it'll be warm enough. It's always nice to start off the day with a little wildlife viewing. That was a nice healthy looking deer right there. I'm also practically hiking through huckleberry bushes, so maybe we'll see a bear. Hopefully farther away than closer. Basically today guys, I'm just hiking a couple miles to Alpine Lake. Holy moly, a grouse. It scared the crap out of me. Those damn thunder chickens. Those things always get me. Whew, not that the heart attack's over. What were we talking about? So I'm hiking a couple miles to an Alpine Lake. I'm um, hiking around 6,000 feet. And honestly guys, I'm just kind of winning this one. I've never been to this particular lake. I have no idea if there's actually any fish in it, but only way to find out is to hike in here and try, so we're gonna make it happen. All right, you guys, we're finally opening up to the basin. Look at this view in front of me. I don't know what it is about Alpine Country, guys, but it's just so magical up here. Especially in these morning hours. All the birds are waking up. You can hear all the bugs, wildflowers. These basins, it just takes my breath away every time. It's hard to describe it. This video will not do it absolutely any justice. All right, you guys, I can see first glimpse of the lake in front of me. There's some primitive campsites here. We're just gonna kinda Rock around this trail and find a nice little spot to make base camp for the day, so to say. Let's take a look. Can't wait to show you guys. How cool is this, you guys? Another cool thing is I'm absolutely the only person here. I didn't see any cars at the trailhead. I didn't see anybody else hiking. It's just so surreal being up here being the only one. All right guys, what we're doing today is I'm using my Echo 5 weight fly rod, nine foot rod with six sec tippet. We're starting out with the little caddis. One of the problems of facing, if you can say that, is I'm seeing fish rise, but they're all definitely in the middle of the lake. And it's actually pretty deep. It drops off here pretty quickly, so I can't reach out to them. So I'm just kind of sitting here watching the water and trying to formulate a plan. If I see something rise kind of closer to shore, I'm gonna basically wrap around and target them that way.
fish on you guys fish on I got one looks like a little brookie Let's see if we can land this little guy there he is Check out this gorgeous little fish, you guys. Sun's coming up. Got ourselves a first little brookie. Let's let this guy go. Yes. Guys, first fish on. I was literally sitting here right by the bank as I was just telling you guys that I'm seeing fish rise way out there. And I sat here for maybe three minutes and then I saw one actually rise a lot closer to shore. So I targeted him and he ate it immediately. What a beautiful fish. Some fish rise way over this way, you guys. I think I'm gonna walk over there. It doesn't seem like they're striking my fly just because, you know, like you do in river, you don't really target a specific color fish. Usually, sometimes you just run your flies to runs and whatnot. But up here, I think I pretty much have to sight fish for them. So I'm gonna try to make my way over that way. I'm hoping it's shallower on the other side. Maybe I can wade in a little farther. Now that I came here, the fish, I just saw him jump over there. He's actually moving with me. <laughs> I think this is where he was last, so let's try again. Well, since the sun came up, you guys, it definitely got a bunch warmer. Probably went from about 55, 60 degrees to it feels like about 85 now. And since the sun picked over this little mountain I'm sitting in front of, I've not seen a single fish rise. Like basically, they're all rising way out there. I caught that one fish. And then I spent like an hour chasing around the lake, trying to chase fish, which probably wasn't the best idea. What I would have done hindsight is just sit in one spot, and when I see a rise, I would cast at it. Me being a Ganaho young man that I am, I kept running around. By the time I'd get over there, the fish would start rising here and then stop rising over there. Long story short, lesson learned. Still caught one fish, so it's still a blessing. Now here's another thing I did today, you guys. I brought a dehydrated meal that I was gonna eat today. Which I'm sure will be very tasty, but I forgot my fuel canister. I brought the stove and this, and the fuel. Ooh, that's in the water now. And, unfor and usually I could just make a fire, but these jet boil covers are actually plastic like material. So if I put this in a fire, I'll actually burn it. So I can't do that either. So I think what I'm gonna try and do is just rehydrate this with straight up water and see what happens. Cause I am hungry. I'm basically running off two bananas that I ate in the way here in the truck this morning. All right, let's see what happens if we just cold hydrate it, so to say. in here so the wind doesn't blow away get this thing out of here and today we have lasagna with meat sauce Let's see how it tastes cold seems about right figure to filter myself a little bit of water while I wait for my food to finish. Gotta stay hydrated, you guys. Let's use these Sawyer Squeeze filtration systems. They're cheap too, and they work. They're my favorite. This is not sponsored, by the way. I bought this on Amazon with my credit card. All right, it's time to see what we cooked up. See what came of this cold dehydrated meal. Huh? Smells just like SpaghettiOs. If you guys have ever eaten cold SpaghettiOs, which I have in my teenage years quite a bit, that's exactly what they smell like. Let's see. Certainly edible. I'm not gonna lie, this is much better warm, but I can put this down. I can tell you guys one thing, that $8 
dehydrated spaghetti -o. definitely hit the spot I hardly encourage you guys to try this out if you guys have never done it come out here and try it it's just so unique you guys the experience is so surreal it's not even about the size of the fish out here it's just so much more rewarding catching this little brook trout I cut this morning was more rewarding to me personally than if I would have caught a 20 inch cutthroat you know down below where I always fish that being said any suggestions you guys have for me for doing this kind of thing I would highly appreciate it feel free to direct message me on Instagram or leave messages down below I'm new to this so any tips any particular spots or trailhead stuff like that I'm not trying to ask for a secret spot here but if you guys have some hints I would definitely appreciate them there's actually a book I want to buy I'm trying to find the name for you guys I have it saved I believe the book is called 100 hikes in the Northwest by Rich Landers it's a book I want to buy the gentleman that wrote it was apparently a backpacker, a hiker, and he also liked to fish. So a lot of it talks with regards to hiking and fishing destinations, which is something that's particularly interesting to me. All right, all that being said, backpack's all packed again. I'm back to the trailhead, you guys. Heading on out of here. Good news is the whole way up here was uphill. That means the whole way down is downhill. That being said, I would like to thank every single one of you guys for coming along today and watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. And I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye.